this little pugo is the first kind of more decorative bushcraft knife that I bought. Whenever I was a boy I had a little scout knife with a stacked leather handle, which I'll show you another time. But Then I moved on to Amora, which I used for many years. But I saw this one day and I just liked the look of it. Um, it cost me 13 quid. The sheath's pretty dirty now. But it's surprisingly good nick. I would oil it now and again. Very traditional. Very traditional. Here's the little blade. The handle when I got it was very, very pale white. Birch. Curly birch. Um, little pommel on it. Pretty badly scratched now. But it's changed colour over the years, it's been used. And this uh, section of the blade was totally covered in black from the the forging. Well worn away now. This is before I knew really anything about knives, you know. I just, knives were tools to use. Um, and then you kind of get caught up in what's best and what's not. But <laughs> um, Yeah, so uh, I was just saying there, the blade always did everything they've ever, ever, ever asked of it. I'm not even sure if it's full tang or not because you can't see it. I assume it's just under there. The handle is very contoured. I think it's designed for use with gloves. But it's still, it's still good to hold. It feels comfortable. If a little narrow maybe. Um, the blade is just over hand width but razor sharp carbon steel I think it's partially tempered as well because I tried a few times to get an edge on there for a fire steel and it never really worked because it seems softer but nice wee knife I think it's some uh, I think it's made really excuse my terrible pronunciation but I think it's something like a Saki Jahanapa something along those lines. It's hard to see now. But it's quite a quite a well known maker. Um I did find out at one time. There you go. Just thought you'd like to see that. Little Puko. A great compliment to a, a bigger Luku, you know. Super job. Thirteen quid and I've had it now for 12 years, maybe 13, 14 years.